Let's start the CPR training. First, you need to check the status of the person who has fallen down. Please lower your head to look at the person below. Tap their shoulder several times and say, Hello, hello, are you okay? Can you hear me? To see if they are conscious. From a kneeling position, check the patient's consciousness and breathing by following the virtual hand gestures below. Hello, hello, are you okay? Can you hear me? Hello, hello, are you okay? Can you hear me? The patient is unconscious. Call for help, clearly describe the person's condition, and request a defibrillator from the AED. With your head up and facing forward, follow the voice and virtual hand gestures that appear. Sir, the gentleman in the red top over there, please call 119 quickly. Sir, the gentleman in the red top over there, please call 119 quickly. Follow the voice and virtual hand gestures. Excuse me, yes. The woman in the jeans, please get me a defibrillator. Excuse me, yes, the woman in the jeans, please get me a defibrillator. Observing the patient's chest and abdomen, check the patient's breathing. Check if the patient's abdomen is moving. Take turns doing CPR before the defibrillator arrives. First, identify the point one halfway down the patient's breastbone. Following the shape of the virtual hand, place the heel of one palm one half weight down the patient's breastbone. The other palm is placed on top of the back of that hand, and the fingers are interlocked so that only the heel of the hand touches the patient's chest. From a kneeling position to a half standing position, keep your elbows straight and shoulders, elbows, and elbows are vertical. Follow the virtual hand gestures, press vertically on the patient's chest to a depth of about 5 cm. Repeat this 30 times at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. At the same pace as the video in front of you, do so to a count of 30. Keep going until the defibrillator arrives, or until a replacement is available. To minimize the amount of time the CPR is interrupted until 119 paramedics arrive, we recommend asking someone nearby to help perform the CPR. The defibrillator AED has arrived. Check the AED's power button. Press the power button to turn on the power. Once powered on, stay calm and follow the AED's voice prompts. Attach the pads. First, place an RA pad on the patient's left chest. This time, place the LL pad on the right side of the body. After all the pads are attached, follow the AED's voice prompts. Connect the pad connectors to the AED. Please connect the pad connectors to the AED. Stay away from the patient. Analyze the patient's heart rhythm. Defibrillation required. Charging. Stay away from the patient. Press the flashing defibrillation button. Defibrillation is done. Begin CPR immediately. After the defibrillation, CPR should be resumed immediately. In the same manner as the CPR you performed earlier, follow the virtual hand gestures and perform them at the same pace as the video for a count of 30. If the person performing CPR is struggling, they should take turns with someone else so that the CPR is not interrupted. It is best to alternate CPR every two minutes that the AED is restarted. Repeat the CPR without stopping until paramedics arrive.
When every minute counts, your courageous actions can save precious lives. Thank you for participating in our CPR training. Let's start the CPR training.